is Ruel's Running Podcast, a podcast about running, health, family, play, and an NSNG lifestyle. And now, here's your host, Ruel. Excuse me as I rock on. That's Went Away by Dorothy Lane. Dorothy Lane out of Martinez, California. That's out of the Cut and Dry album. Check them out at DorothyLaneMusic.com. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, another episode of the show. Welcome to MuffleCast, which is basically what it would sound like if uh, I put my mask on. It's just that time of the... It's just that season. That season of the year where we uh, decorate our home with with ourselves because we're having to stay home all the time. (laughs) And we, uh, you know, we... uh, we have presents to open up, you know, because, well, they're not really presents, it's just we're home to actually receive Amazon packages and other packages and, you know, that are delivered and every time we get a nice cluster of, a, li- a nice group of packages at the front of the, outside the front door, it's like Christmas, like, it's like Santa had, um, had decided if you want something you're gonna have to spend for it and uh, you know if you anyone and when I bring it over via the uh, the the mail carrier folks um, we're just gonna leave it at your front door because uh, you know we want to do this whole safe distancing thing I don't want to have to shoot down your your chimney and catch germs you know I appreciate the cookies and the milk but I don't know that I should. <laughs> what? So, hey, it's Ruel's Running Podcast. Yes. Thank you, Anna. I am the host. It's my pod- running podcast. Oh, my God. My neck is itchy. It's, um, you know, just not feeling like shaving. <laughs> Some days drag longer than others, and then, you know, as more of them go by, you totally forget that. Oh yeah, I have something that I need to clean out of my clean off of my face. <laughs> How are you doing? You know, by the time you listen to this podcast, um, I'd like to think that the world has gotten normal, but probably isn't probably isn't going to be um i'm still catching up with releasing episodes as a matter of fact yesterday i uh a long overdue episode of uh the service guys podcast had been released and it was you know sort of sitting and waiting to be published like for three months which is interesting because as i reviewed it you know it was uh back in april you know, so that was sort of like, I guess, you know, within the first month of the whole pandemic, you know, Lonnie, Lonnie and I were talking about it and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's still relevant, <laughs> you know, as far as, you know, not knowing a whole lot of what's going on and when you know how to how to keep germs at bay and and uh you know knowing that not knowing really what to make of it other than you know it's uh people get sick and people can overcome it but also people there are people who get sick and it's really hard for them to overcome if not you know the worst so yeah 
it's still the case. So where are we now? As of this recording, it is... Um, someone tell me. What is the date today? July. Almost mid-July. So by the time this episode... Let's go see if I'm right. By the time this episode goes out, it'll be... Uh, uh, October. <laughs> so... Someone let me know by the time you hear, by the time this episode releases, is it really October? I'm bad. Today I'm actually working on an episode. What is it? 261 or 262? And I can't tell what when that was actually recorded. <laughs> so I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up. I can't even remember what it was. What was on it? Well, it's probably a whole lot of, like, the same thing here. But, yeah. So, let's get into it. What is cooking? Cooking, cooking, cooking. Um, I've been doing some grilling out back. Meaning, back at the backyard. Our backyard. Got the gas grill. And I've been having a lot of fun sort of changing the way that I've been using the grill. Um, we have, what do we have? We have like, like four cast iron pans and, um, one cast iron sort of, uh, I don't don't even know if it's considered a Dutch oven of some sort, but basically like a small pot, two handles on the side. So it's got a, a good level of depth. Maybe it's like three to four inches deep. Right, but it ain't it ain't wide. It's I don't know, maybe like eight inches wide or in diameter. I don't know. But I use that one on the side burner on the gas grill. I fill it up with bacon fat and I deep fry the heck out of whatever I feel like deep frying. And I do that I do that in the outside in the backyard. And then on the uh, the gas grill I'm throwing uh, a couple cast iron pans on it and doing some interesting stuff. At least I think it's interesting. You know, on um, yesterday I uh, took our uh, our larger cast iron pan and I drizzled olive oil at the bottom of it, and then I took a bag of frozen pre-cut broccoli florets and uh, I put that on top of that olive oil in the cast iron pan. It's frozen, so right? And uh, I took uh, maybe, I wanna say two to three tablespoons of Kerrygold butter and I threw, put that on top of that. And I took some heavy cream and I kind of splashed that around. Um, salt, pepper, and, uh, and um, covered it with foil. And yeah, then that's kind of what sat in the ga- over the gas grill, you know, heating up, melting away that butter and heating up that cream and the olive oil and and then eventually uh, steaming all of that frozen broccoli to a cooked state. And uh, well, you know, that was nice. And on another pan, I had a uh, I've been doing this thing where I'll get I'll get mussels. You know the uh, the oyster-looking clam-looking sea creatures. I get them frozen. They're already shelled. Or one one half is popped off, so it's just basically, you know, ready to go. I'll put that on a, on the pan with uh, some shrimp. Oh, everything's frozen, and I'll do the same technique. I'll throw in butter and I'll throw in cream, but I'll I'll, I'll season it up with salt, pepper, and even uh, some. Uh, Old Bay seasoning, and uh, and I'll I'll get some minced fresh minced garlic, and I'll throw that in there as well, and I'll and I'll let that sort of simmer and cook in the gas grill. I'll you know the cl- I'll close off the gas grill and let both pans heat up really well. And man, that seafood when that thing cooks, the broth that is a result of that of the seafood. The shrimp, the, the the mussels, you know that sort of sea seafood brininess that comes 
from and that renders off when it cooks over the the butter and the garlic and the cream oh my god so good i had a, a couple of uh salmon steaks that i seasoned basically with uh the old bay seasoning and salt pepper and i had just put that skin side down on the gas grill and let that get nice and crispy the skin at the bottom and, and you know you'd run the risk of overcooking the salmon and uh you know drying it out but what i learned was i could just do more of that creamy buttery garlic stuff and then after i cooked the the salmon i could just pour over that some of that creaminess over the salmon and i've got like this garlic butter creamy sauce <laughs> over salmon so good so good and then meanwhile you're thinking like don't you have a hot pot of of uh, boiling bacon fat going on the side on the side burner i said yeah i do and what am i doing well my wife found a uh, uh, somebody who likes to cook prepare and sell or prepare and sell um frozen lumpia you know it's pork and shrimp basically pork and shrimp wrapped in um with a rice paper wrapper right seasoned and whatnot so all you gotta do is fry it and traditionally that stuff's fried like any traditional fry you put it in, a, in some crap oil but you know i like to deep fry in bacon fat so different so much better i think so yeah that's that's that and so good you know it changes things up you know ordinarily doing like steaks is great beef short ribs is great you know, doing the the pork the pork the rack of ribs is great. Um, sausages and things like that is great. Um, chicken, chicken. I like I love chicken thighs. You know, um, but to be able to do the cooking with the cast iron, cast ironware. <laughs> you know, makes me feel like I'm in a cooking show. <laughs> World's Cooking Show podcast. And uh, yeah, it's cool. I dig it. It's delicious. You should try it now. Switch off this podcast and get co- cooking. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta do something. I'll be back. I'm back. Ah. Uh, so. Let's see. Lots happened. A lot has happened. I have a good friend who's uh, recently moved into a new home. Congratulations, by the way. You know who you are. By the time this episode releases, it, it would have been like old news. So I could, I could say who it was. I can, you know. He's the. Uh, um, he's the. Uh, he's what makes the Service Guys podcast the service guys podcast he's the service professional he's been on this podcast uh a few times (laughs) what's up lonnie (laughs) ah congratulations sir so happy for you and and your family all right um yeah well uh, he's this you know he would have just moved in just like a day ago that's how recent <laughs> from this recording um yeah so his, his world is pretty busy right now I'm sure anyways let's see I want to talk about um how the family went over to a uh, a Lowe's Lowe's and uh, you know we just picked up some gardening stuff went to self checkout I had a plant that I was trying to ring up on the, the thing and there was no information there was no, no tag sticker nothing on how to ring it up you know I don't know if there was a, some special code that maybe the guy that was hanging out attending to the self-checkout stuff would would provide some help inside and some be helpful about it so i asked the guy you know like 
So, you know, how are we supposed to ring this this thing up, right? I'm just trying to go on to my business, go on with my business. My family is with me. You know, just want to like uh, get through the checkout as quick as possible and be on our way, right? Because we got three little kids. You know, they're kind of like antsy and want to be all over the place and don't want them to sort of take up a whole lot of space and be in people's way. You know, as they try and buy stuff from the store. So then I asked the guy, like, so how are you supposed to bring this thing, up, this thing up? And he says, he says these words. He says, very carefully. And he was, he had his mask on. I had my mask on. He was about a feet of foot apart from each other, and I, you know, looked him straight in the eye. And my mind was sort of spinning, saying to it, saying to myself, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Right. That's so high school. That's so stupid, right? And if he was trying to be funny, he's not the funny kind of guy, right? He's not, you know, he he didn't deliver it in a way that I found it to be funny. But you know, I stared at him straight into his eyes behind my mask. You know, longer than comfortable, and. Uh, then he slowly proceeded to try and recover in my eyes that's what it's, that's what it looked like to me he's like is there a skew you know maybe it's under it's on the other side I'm turning the thing around nope so maybe it's um, it's it's probably under the thing like he's he's certain pick it up nope right and um, totally not customer service like in my opinion and uh, so then at that point he's like well then you're just gonna have to go find another one of these with that actually has the, uh, the tag on it the sticker on it whatever right yeah so I, you know, I, d- I didn't say anything I just kind of like put the plant down and stepped away my fa- left my family Went over to where the plants were, grabbed another one of the same looking plants, scanned it, but I knew my wife wanted the one that we had on hand. And I swear to God, I wanted to just like drop the plant on the ground and let it kind of just explode onto the floor, dirt and everything. Um, but instead I decided I'm just gonna leave this other plant right here by the, by the self checkout for someone else to deal with. It's just, you know, my mind goes wanting to like uh, you know um, re- react uh, at a high level but I've sort of conditioned myself to just tone it back all the way back because you know I have kids it's kind of like you know when I was younger and I didn't have kids I wasn't married And I drove I had road rage I would experience A level of rage Here and there And I would Speed And maybe You know Feel like Oh someone cut me off I'm gonna speed up I'm gonna flip the bird You know I'm gonna Whatever right But then That stuff doesn't fly I can't do that anymore You know what The kids What what would I be Demonstrating to them First I would be Endangering everybody's life I would You know Then provoking a situation Who knows what the other person In the other vehicle has Or is like And what's What they're going through So you know Why do any of that So I've had to You know I guess Be a little little mature (laughs) Right So same thing with You know Things like this You know I know my old me would have maybe just told the guy to f off and cuss them out and you know make a big stink and whatever, right? But I can't do that in front of the kids and the family, you know. Um, so you know, finished checking out. You know, other people were sort of making their way. There's like there's like a pod of four different registers for self checkout. You know, and uh, I'm like, okay, I had the family sort of go ahead of me, right? And then uh, as I walked by the guy who was just about ready to help uh, uh, another customer and I can tell 
he was interested because she was kind of like look you know kind of youthful and in a nice dress was kind of you know had a good shape you know i guess some would, would would say like out of everybody in in you know in that store maybe she's one of you know one of a handful of attractive people i don't know i'm just making stuff up but for this guy's um com- for for the the store attendant, I think he, he's he'd be absolutely out of his league, right? This guy's older, you know. He looks miserable, has a bad attitude, you know. He's 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 out of shape, you know. He doesn't like. He looks like he's enjoying his job, right? His name is James. What's up, James? Lowe's Livermore, or Lowe's Dublin, East Dublin, Lowe's. What's up, James? Yeah, so I walk as I as the, I let the, fam, the family move ahead, outside ahead of me, exit ahead of me. I walked by James. I'm like, "Hey, James," kind of muffly because my mask. And hopefully, he heard me. I said, "Hey, James." Oh, actually, no. I, I I knew his name was James, but I actually gave him a different name. I called him Dick, <laughs> as he was trying to be attentive to this other customer, the, the attractive person. Right? I'm like, "Hey, Dick." You know, thanks for your Dick answer. And then uh, went on my way. Um, I think he was confused. <laughs> I was like, "Wait, my name isn't Dick." <laughs> no, you're you are a Dick, you Dick. Yeah, yeah. I got in the car and I'm like, told my wife, I'm like, yeah, I call him a Dick. I gave him a new name. And she's like, you know. And I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. But my, at that point, my wife was like, really? And she's like, then she started getting annoyed. It's like, you should have said something. And, you know, she, her suggestion made would have made a lot of sense. Except I'm like one of the extremes. I'm either at one end of the extreme or I'm on the other end. Her recommendation would have been in the middle and been and, and to, to say something like, excuse me? Um, very carefully? I'm supposed to ring this thing up very carefully? That's your response? That's that's kind of rude, don't you think? Why would you say that? That is not helpful in any way. I do not appreciate you giving me that type of response. Is that how you ordinarily talk to customers? That is not very customer friendly, is it? Where is your manager? I do not give a hoot. Where is your manager? I want to speak to your manager right away. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, yeah. You know, I could have expressed my 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 discontent or whatever at that moment like that. But I don't know. I mean, really? You offended me, sir, with your response. I, you know, that's a lot of work. You know, pick the right words. And express myself in a sort of middle of the road way, I actually get more satisfaction being on one end of the extreme, either kicking his face in or just giving him a new name. You know, while he's, while we're in front of this lovely lady, your name is now Dick with your Dick answer and your Dick response and your Dick attitude, you Dick. So, yeah. Like, I don't know what his problem was, but I didn't want to make a big deal out of something like that. Not a big deal. Fuck it. <laughs> Do you need a website? If you're an individual, a consultant, a group, or small business, and need a site, or maybe you have an existing site, I can help. How about graphic design? Do you need need a design for a T-shirt, logo, product? business cards you know maybe you need help with designing and developing a brand i'm not an expert but i do have the tools and the techniques to get the job done how about a podcast yep like this thing this thing's a silly little show um do you are you looking to set up a podcast of your own are you looking to reach an audience uh promote your business via podcast well abadam studios that's right, Abadam Studios. Yeah, so that's Abadam Studios. Abadamstudios.com, A-B-A-D-A-M-S-T-U-D-I-O-S.com. Check it out. I'm back. And uh, it's about a week from that last segment. 
uh, the Lowe's segment. And it's uh, Saturday. We are uh, it's Saturday afternoon, and I'm about to head out to pick up some things at the grocery store. It's funny, early sort of pandemic, panda, early pandemic, pandemonium, paranoia. Um, I uh, had to <laughs> go to the store a whole lot. Um, interestingly, despite all of the stay where you are except for the essential stuff um fortunately heading over to the grocery store was allowed you know with distancing and with masks and hand sanitizers and all of that stuff and things like you weren't allowed to bring your reusable shopping bags for a while and they just kind of gave you at least here in you know in California they uh, they gave you uh the choice of plastic or paper bags on on them, you know, because times have changed where they had to charge customers for shopping bags. Um, anyways, yeah, and it was it was you know it was tough because it, it wore me out in a way, and I was also trying to adjust to the weird reality that it was. Now it's different. I'm, I'm somewhat of a, I'm somewhat adjusted, and I kind of miss going to <laughs> the grocery store as often as I had. Uh, weird, weird. So, anyways, speaking of pandemic, you know my, uh, <clears throat> my wife had shopped around for, for masks, face masks, kind of the something that we want to sell on the bake shop site you know maybe slap on the uh, the bake shop logo you know just make it available for folks who want to support the bake shop and also could use a mask so my wife found a shop on Etsy I forget what this person's handle was on or the shop name um and um so, you know, my wife had contacted the shop owner and uh, provided the logo and the guy, he mocked it up and we had gone back and forth with, oh, can you, can you, can you shift the logo a little bit off to the side? Can you rotate it slightly so that it's aligned with this edge of the, of the mask, you know? So we went through this whole thing and then then there was a miscommunication and misunderstanding and my wife said okay now that we've we figured that out can we go from the three layer mask to the two layer mask and no problem and what happened was my wife didn't realize i didn't realize and the shop owner didn't communicate that okay now that basically takes the whole mocking up that we've done throws it out of the throws it out because now we're talking about a completely different mask. Its, it's dimensions are different, so placement of the logo is going to be different. So, you know, what happened was the shop owner went ahead and accepted the order, and not gone through a, a whole another iteration of mock-ups. So. That left my wife and I under the impression that we were getting masks that look like the three-layer mask. So only for our surprise to receive the masks and see that these aren't even the masks, right? But in, but in reality, they were the two out, the two-layer masks. Two-layer masks look are a completely different product. So you know, so I went back and forth with the shop owner via message through the through the Etsy platform like these aren't these are completely different masks these are not the masks we had gone back and forth with, with mock-ups and talked about tweaking the image placement this and that but it's a completely different completely different mask it doesn't even matter anymore you know then there's the other things like you know and the print quality is 
kind of kind of lame. It's kind of like looks like you know when you if you've ever printed on it with an inkjet printer, you know, like a a large area of color, and you could see sort of like the bands of of uh, the color passing, you know, kind of in streaks. It was kind of like that. Not to mention the color that was actually printed didn't even look like the color that was on the mock-up. So, setting aside the fact that the masks weren't the right mask in our, you know, our, our understanding of what the masks were going to be, the logo, just the print quality, just it, it wasn't represented well, you know, based on all those mock-ups. And I know a little bit about the design stuff, right? With Abadam Studios and blah, blah, blah. So, I was pretty annoyed. So I asked the guy that, I told the guy that these are all the issues. And, you know, if we can get these all of these issues addressed. If not, then just give us our money back, right? We'll return them and give us our money back. And the guy, so the guy came back with, well, um, basically... You know, they did their, their, the masks are homemade and they did their very best to match the mock-ups and they, the, they ran through the, the quality checks and their, you know, and they passed their quality checks and basically that was it. Man. Not only did, I mean, there was nowhere there that he addressed any of our concerns uh, and, and wasn't going to make any fixes wasn't going to make it an option to get our money back no nothing just sort of like that's what it was oh the other thing too was I mentioned that the you know like the quality of the masks actually aren't that good I mean just in themselves what we received the you know they're not symmetrical if you can imagine you know it's like you have a mask it's kind of a this weird not quite rectangle but it's kind of curved you know think of a rectangle with some curves on the bottom and the top right so it looks more like a I don't know I don't know like a like a banner of some sort I don't know but it's you know it's a face mask and on the left edge you know the mask is a certain height the mature, the edge is a certain height and then on the right side the edge is slightly shorter and it depends on how they how they actually took these masks and printed it you know sometimes it's the left side that's shorter than the right side and sometimes it's the other way around weird so weird and uh so it's like and this guy's saying that they passed quality checks totally ignored get the color and i'm colorblind i can see the difference between what the mocks were and what they provided. I could see the streaks, you know? <laughs> and then you do kind of side by side. I do this thing, right, to illustrate my point. I'll take a picture of the product that we received and I'll take a picture and I'll have, I'll have a copy of the mock and I'll put them side by side. And I'll have the design sort of kind of merge into each other. And even, even in my colorblind eyes, like that is totally not a match, <laughs> you know? And I took pictures of the mask folded in half so you could see like look at that edge they're the edges they're not they're not even equal equal in 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 length so pretty annoyed and uh so basically i haven't heard back from the guy and it's been i think a couple days or my wife hasn't checked because it's on the etsy platform where the messaging is so you know, I wrote back respectfully, like, I'm just confident that we could, you know, come up with a resolution. If not, you know, setting the, setting the fact that the masks were not the, what we expected and that was just sort of like a miscommunication and it is what it is, you know. But if we can get a reprint where at least the logo, you know, this is a business, right? No business wants their logo to be printed on and it looks really bad, right? Um, so, you know, I was kind of hopeful that the guy we could work with, with some sort of compromise as far as 
what to fix. We're not gonna ask him for give us t for the other mass. Give us just a reprint with existing types of mass, and uh, make sure the logo doesn't look like crap. And then we're good. But you know, if the guy's like a small operation and he can't afford to, or he just refuses to, he doesn't care because his quality his quality level really is not quality. It's just garbage. Then you know. Then I open up a case with Etsy and I basically make a complaint, you know, and and put it on record like this shop owner, he he didn't deliver and he went against he went against uh, basically standards and policies with the Etsy shop, right? Misrepresentation of of uh, what sold, and just, you know. Nowhere does it say, you know, you know what we're we're gonna try our best, but we're not perfect and. Or at least try... Dang, man. When you make your mocks, take into consideration, you know, the difference, you know, and, you know, do tests. You know, if these are homemade, then there are ways about it. Go to your printer. If you're not the printer, but you're making yourself look like you're the printer, what colors do you have that are close to what we're looking... That, 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 that you've mocked up, right? And then somehow put those on swatches and then send that photo send that as a picture over to the customer and say this is these are how we're matching up the colors um, this is what's available you know are you okay with it you know or which one of these are you okay with then run the whole order that way you're not having to print the whole order it, you know in a in a manner that's unacceptable right be honest about how the quality is going to turn out or how you know the quality is going to turn out you know say like you know these are just mock-ups what actually ends up printing is there's there's going to be a level of um you know um sort of uh there's there's a certain pattern that comes up when the things are printed or screen printed or whatever right and that's the nature of say the 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 fabric and the, the 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 paint, you know, when they, when they come into contact, you know, and the methods that we use to print, this is what happens, and it's just you know, you just got to know what to expect. Make it clear, you know. It's nothing worse than <laughs> it's. I don't know. It's kind of like a, you know, you have a a picture of yourself on your website with no shirt, maybe running, you know, and you're maybe like twenty pounds lighter, you know, you look kind of fit. You know, you look like you're really kind of active. But in reality, if you were to get a picture of the guy now, a.k.a. me, then it's like, wow, no, I'm not the same guy on your website. You know, false advertising, right? So don't believe everything you see. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's fun. I'm actually at the store. I'm going to go pick up some stuff because I feel like hitting the grill. I'm going to grill some seafood. I'm going to grill some land food. Does that even make sense? So basically kind of do like a surf and turf situation. And grab some ribs and some burgers. I already got the seafood at home. Yeah, so that's that. All right, I'm back. Ugh. Got everything I needed and more. Got fish, got beef, short ribs, and pork. A rack of pork spare ribs and some burger patties yeah do, 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 do. so uh, I'm going to grill something up for dinner and um, and uh, I'm gonna be busy till bedtime and that's normal gonna be uh, doing a little bit of work on the bake shop side of things and uh, picked up some work um, for a friend new website an old friend from college I don't say that that often an old friend from college yeah 
she's uh, gonna be speaking somewhere apparently and she's also has a uh, she wants a way to connect people to her via a website like you know like you can do these days pretty common and uh, you know she has a book I'm gonna have to find out more about that and uh, you know she wants to be able to sell it on her site so you know I uh, happy that she reached out to me she's like she was trying to look into it how she can do it herself and she's like oh, why would I pay someone else when I have a friend who can do all this so thank you so I got you know got my head spinning around that project all in all it's good and uh, you know giving me a little bit of momentum I'm gonna reach out with another with another uh, customer happens to be family um, and she's uh, looking to add an e-commerce component to her website because she does sell stuff goes to uh, I don't know what they're called you know when you're out on, out in the public and you're like a vendor sort of situation kind of looks like a, a farmer's market type situation but not really have anything to do with produce more like like arts and craft type stuff um, but I, although I think she did start throwing in a food kind of thing I don't know but yeah so a bit of momentum I'm gonna reach out to the to that as well to her as well and see where she stands on wanting to do that so yeah that's uh that's what's going on and with Ruol's running <laughs> he's running something uh, but took a long took a couple hour a couple of like a two hour drive today with the family and it gave me some time to think about what I want to do with the running running and uh, I don't know it's just I don't know if it's because the weather is great right now you know it's high of 90 it's currently 87 where i'm at but you know it is that time of the year where you kind of get more of the daytime the daylight right so i don't know I'm thinking huh maybe i should just plan that solo run again you know in my mind went as far as like yeah why don't i just plan to like do 100 miles on my own which i won't be able to do but, you know, it just sort of, that's where my mind went. You know, it was like what I do, thinking like, well, what, would I, what would that look like? What would that look like? I got like a decent eight plus mile loop from home, um, from starting from home, you know? A little bit of a, you know, elevation. Not a whole lot, but, you know, annoyingly, there's a little bit of, a little bit of a gain. On a, I want to say the first half of the loop. So it's kind of like one of those loops, and then it kind of comes down and it kind of. Do I want to say now it kind of goes like a, there's a little subtle grade again, and then right before you, I get back to the home, I gotta go up this kind of this, uh, this more gain, and then a drop. Then I get home. So then, yeah, it's it's not a flat loop. You know, and it's not a trail. It's it's sidewalk. Although there is a trail piece that kind of cuts through the loop. Um, but I don't know how I feel about that. Because that means, like, uh, that means my loops can be less. Then I'm going to have to do more loops. Depending on how much I want to accomplish. So I thought, like, maybe I'll do the 100. No, maybe I'll... That's just going to take me, like all day and, and some change I don't know if I want to do that I mean literally like 24 hours right because I'm slow slower than molasses and I thought ah, why don't I just why don't I just do that 50 that I keep complaining about wanting to do that I never do complaining about that I never got to finish so yeah I could do that with the uh, with my loops right so maybe maybe that 
at first my mind went to like my old sort of route. I would be like, oh, I would go like a couple towns up, several towns up, uh, and then make my way back down and then make, do some uh, makeup loops at the very tail end just to come up with whatever distance I wanted to accomplish. But I don't know, it's like, there's a section of that, it's a section of that course, it's like, do I really, I mean, this, I mean, do I really want to be running through, like, homeless camps and stuff? <laughs> Not really. You know, like, 20 plus miles into it, and then I'm like, all right, here I am. There's, like, a evidence of, you know, of a dwelling here in the middle of this trail, and... Then, oh, here, there's active tenants or residents in this area. It's like, uh, you know, it's just when I'm going to commit myself to being out on a, any sort of course for a long period of time, you know, every little bit of pleasantry sort of scenic stuff kind of is a boost. And everything that's not can just be like tiring. <laughs> That's not bad, is it, for me to say? Too bad I said it. And it's living on the internet now. Um, so yeah, and I'm thinking like, how much time do I have to prepare? Or do I just go in cold? <laughs> just like, don't prepare. That's not the smart thing to do. That's just asking for injury right in the middle of the whole experience. Then that leaves me limping, limping and having my mind blocked with the fact that I have to deal with an injury. So, I don't know. If I give myself a month to just sort of get a level of conditioning, then maybe I can schedule a time when I'm going to actually try to do that. And if that's the case, then I'm looking at maybe... Maybe... But I don't know. It's like I want to do something before the kids go back to school. And the kids will go back to school in one shape or form. I gotta think more about it. But that's that. Uh, I'll let you know. And I gotta go. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, That's it for now. So remember folks, hug your friends, hug your family. When you can, safely. And eat something delicious, always. But run something. Bye. Thanks for listening to Ruel's Running Podcast with Ruel. If you like what you just heard, share it with your friends and your enemies. Also, be sure to check out the site over at ruelsrunning.com. This has been another Coffee with Heavy Cream production. Join us next time for another silly show of Ruel's Running Podcast. Yeah.